all on the table that means all four of you guys talk for like let's do 30 seconds now because we're running out of time which is the best rivalry in the premier league right now and aj you can bring in arteta versus pep like the future also in this like considering who is rattled guardiola more klopp or uh, arteta but i'm going to start with davina why do you think klopp versus guardiola is the the best there is in the premier league yeah? keep comparing the arsenal rivalry with guardiola that with liverpool rivalry and i think it doesn't even compare man if you just look at how liverpool competed with city over those 5 6 years when klopp was there let's let's talk when arsenal can actually beat city both home and away on the way to reaching a champions league final or let's talk when arsenal can reach three champions league finals in four years or when arsenal can come back from a 3-0 deficit in champions league against messi or let's talk when arsenal can actually goes on and wins the champions league right or maybe like when arteta wins the best coach of the year ahead of pep or even let's talk when arsenal have three 90 plus points in five years or let's talk when arsenal actually wins the premier league right so again it's or finally let's talk when arsenal actually goes to etihad and plays for three points and not one right so i think all of this if you if you look at all of this and i think the club and uh, and pep rivalry has much more substance to it they were more evenly matched uh, they were like within one point distance of each other and i think that went on for like a good 3 4 5 years or so and the fact that club did all of this against a cheating city at the height of their cheating era i guess i think that kind of proves a lot and i would say club and pep their rivalry is much more better and much easier to look at than what arsenal and uh, pep have yeah, that's my take ej i want to go to you directly for arteta versus pep and to respond to him i mean yeah a lot of a lot of that shit was made up so it's Fine. I mean, we have to have a clear distinction, right? Like, first, one of the managers was in his heydays when he came to Liverpool. Won, not won, but like went to Champions League final. A massive rec- uh, respect to Klopp, what he did in terms of facing City, especially now that we are against City and we have faced it for two seasons. We know how what it takes, the mental toll it takes, and clearly it showed on him where he just fucked off after after a point he was like, I'm out. He tapped out. So at least Arteta hasn't done that yet. We have managed to. Uh, I mean, Arteta has managed to at least match Klopp's legacy in terms of coming second. So all we need to do is one time. and we are we are right there so anyway point is i think it depends on what type of rivalry you want the one was between two bohemians best coaches in the world going against each other with massive respect both of them kind of respecting each other their play styles and what not and the other one is kind of like just brewing up and the master is kind of pissed that the apprentice became turned out to be so good that he is actually able to challenge them and getting rattled so it really depends on what kind of rivalry you want so i think liverpool fans are a little bit mellow in nature they are softies inside so they don't want to go into like a dog fight they want to stay out of it they want to respect respect and their players come out and say that their titles mean more and what not shit even if they have won just one versus we are kind of like you know the dogs of the league we go against the big boys we went against sir alex ferguson in their heydays we made something out of that rivalry we made premier league what it was established it on the global stage and we, i think a lot of the premier league supporters these days or the fame that premier league gets is because of arsenal versus united back in the day it isn't because of liverpool what they did back in bob shankly or whatever the songs that they sing nobody remembers that <laughs> who <laughs> that guy was and <laughs> nobody remembers that bill shankly whatever it was so yeah i mean nobody cares about liverpool liverpool are a club that came into existence because they got a generational coach they had like crazy good uh, back staff and they did some things and they'll probably go back to obscurity now that the big boy has arrived and uh, you know is out there to take pep's crown are uh, it's just one thing our titles our titles mean more because we actually won them we actually won the short pen sleep and we actually won the premier league they mean more because Okay. Yeah, I would like to add to it. Yes, like potentially, I think the way our data is going about it, we are set for sort of a great rivalry between these two. The way they have been talking about each other in all the arguments, all I think it, what I've been failed to mention here is that coming this close to winning the league, like losing by one point and not just one. I think they were twice very close to winning the league, and it just Guardiola happened to them. So Arsenal haven't done that yet. They haven't come. Close to who you? I I I think you should. You actually have forgotten last two seasons. I I totally get it why you would. But, yeah, but it wasn't a point or two's margin, right? Like you bottled it up. What? How? So, Tell me. Ex- educate me. By not winning against Villa. Last, 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 right? Like bottled it. How? How did you bottle it? Last season. You, you guys were like all set to win it. And... How? Because you, you went to Etihad and oh. played for a point. You didn't go for three points at yeah. Etihad. That's how you yeah, bottled it. And, and, you, sure. and you lost to Aston Villa at home. That's how you bottled it. Modric Mod- yeah. is coming then, in. Modric is coming and, in right and, now. Fact checks. Liverpool have never won at the Etihad. Fact check. And then Fact what? Check. We didn't want. We didn't you win like, at Etihad. Nope. Never in the Premier League. Like, no. 
In the Premier League? Oh, you have never won, won. won at the Etihad. Yeah, yeah, you won't, you won't remember that. <laughs> you have never won in the Premier League at the Etihad. Easy to forget, uh, no? Mm. All right. No, but like, to be honest, on a very serious note, I think it really depends on what type of rivalry you want. One is kind of like a, a heated one where people hate each other. One, the other one is like, you know, a pure football rivalry. So it really yeah. depends on what you 